Good morning, boys and girls. It is so good to see you. I think that uh, today is going to be a great day, and I hope that it's a great day for you and your families. I want to read us some books. I love to read books. I want to encourage you to read books. and uh, I want to read two books for us this morning in story time with Pastor Clint. The first is Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? This was one of my son Joshua's favorite books growing up. He had it memorized. And he would read it along with us. Maybe you have it memorized and you can read it along with us as well. And then I want to finish with my no-no day. My no-no day. My daughter, Sarah Grace, used to love to read this book. And we used to love to read it to her. And maybe you will get a lot out of it too. My no-no, no day. So I want to read those two books for you. Thank you for joining us. And I hope you have a great time listening to these books. Number First book, book number one, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a mother looking at me. Mother, mother, what do you see? I see beautiful children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a mother looking at us. That's what we see. Isn't that a great book? I love that. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? The second book I want to read this morning to you is My No, No, No Day. My No, No, No Day. Maybe you know this book. I hope you do. And if you do, you can read along with me. My No, No Day. Yesterday I woke up and Bob was crawling around my room licking my jewelry. So I shouted, get out of my room. And that was the start of my no, 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 no day. Then I came downstairs and I saw that egg. And I cried and I cried and I said, I can't eat that. And mommy said, well, you could eat it last week. Look at Bob. He's eating his mashed mashed bananas. After that terrible egg, I didn't like my shoes either, so I took them off all by myself and started shouting, No shoes! No shoes! And then we had to go shopping, and Mommy said, Please stop wriggling, Bella. But I couldn't stop wriggling, and in the end I just shouted, Get me out of here! Mommy said, You're going to give Bob an earache, and you're giving me a headache. And Bob poked at me and said, Ear. At lunchtime, Sasha and her mother came over to play and have some peanut butter and grapes and a cookie. But my cookie broke. Then I couldn't play nicely. And I kept saying, No, you can't be princesses. And in the end, Sasha and her mommy went home. In the afternoon, it was my ballet lesson, and I said, Ballet is too itchy! But I was very loud, and Miss Clark stopped playing the piano, and Miss Louisa said, Dear, oh dear, perhaps you should sit in the corner then. You ever had to sit in the corner? 
On the way home, we met a lady who lives next door, and she said that Bob was the sweetest thing she had seen all day. And then she said, and how is Bella? I was a long way behind, so I had to shout, I have a hurting foot! And Mommy said I could keep my voice down, and could I please stop lying on the sidewalk? Then it was time for my supper and my bath, but those peas were too hot and our bath was too cold and I was too wet and it was too minty. And after that I rolled and rolled and said, no bed, no, 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 no bed, no, no, no. But I rolled all over my room and then I rolled into Bob's room and I said, bed is for babies. And then I yawned a little long, yawn. Now, I know you've never thought bed is for babies, have you? Then I crawled into my room and Mommy said, who wants a story? And I said, nobody. But she came into my room anyway and we cuddled up and had the best story about fairies and cake. Yawn, I was getting tired. I yawned again and I said very quietly, today was a very bad day, Mommy. Sorry. And she kissed me goodnight and said, I know, we all have those days sometimes, but perhaps you will be more cheerful tomorrow. And I was, I was, I was cheerful all day long. And that's the end of my no, no, no day. It's a great little story, isn't it? Hope you're not having a no, 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 no day. Hope you're cheerful. Be cheerful for your mommy and daddy and grandma and grandpa, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters. They all love you. Thanks for joining me for Storytime with Pastor Clint. Remember, God loves you, and I love you too. I'll see you next time.